have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. those abstract mass market games that won game of the year and i have no idea why you know it's 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 appealing i guess it's for the masses anybody can play this you're going to be taking tiles and either they match colors they match symbols but they can't do both uh it's an enjoyable little mass market game with that said i like it and i'm going to keep this game because if I need something out we want to play in 15, 20 minutes to end the night, or I don't feel like playing something thinky, this is something that I'll pull out. It's a mass market game that is actually a game in it. You know, it's one of those things where you're scoring points off to the side, and there's some strategy to it, but let's be honest. If you get the right tile sent to you, you're probably going to beat me if we're equal levels, right? Or even if you're not as good as me, just a little bit worse than me. And these are the type of games that I'm not good at. I'm, I'm just... I'm Terrible at these. I have an okay time. But most of the time you said, hey, you want to play Corkle? I might go do another activity or hobby that I like. Just as much as I like playing board games. So I might go do something else. With that said, I have brought this game out, believe it or not. Because it's easy to teach. It's easy to score. People get it. You don't have to think that hard. It's just kind of as a game when you're having a conversation. And, you know, gateway, non-gamers kind of like it. I think it does very well in that market. With that said... If I could see people who really like this game being cutthroat, and I could see them really getting into it and scoring a lot of points and being very good at it and not setting people up for big scores like I tend to do all the time, I could see people really enjoying this game. I really think when you watch the flow of this game, you're either going to look at it and be like, this is for me and my family, or steer clear of me, I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to say, yeah, it'll hold a place in my collection. But it's not something I'm going to be Jones in the play all the time. So I'm going to keep it, but it's a barely keep. Here is the box for Corkle. Now this is a mass market game. You pull it off. And you're going to really have just a big bag in here with all the little tiles inside. Um, you know, it might... You need them in here to play the game, but it might work better. Kind of being able to spread them out a little bit. But the game is... Just a bunch of these tiles. They're extremely thick, very nice with these symbols on them in different colors. And that's all you really get. You get a whole bag full of these, and there's just a ton of them. So the components are good, very simple. Obviously, this is an abstract game, and that's all there is to it. So the components are nice. Uh, it's a little bland, but this is what they are. The rules for Quirkle are simple. You can teach somebody in about 20 seconds. The scoring is easy to understand. It, you know, There's not a whole lot to it. You do need an additional scoring pad that doesn't come with it. Um, but but it's, it, it's a nonsensical game. You're just kind of matching these colors and symbols. It's very easy. People will pick up on it pretty quickly. So when the game sits starts, you're going to draw a hand of six tiles. This will be kind of your hand. And whoever has the largest set will get to go ahead and play it. So let's say this is the largest set. And what you have to do is uh, either match the, the symbols on them or the colors. So this would not be a set because uh, the colors are different, but the, um, the design on them are the same. So after that, you would draw up to two more. And the other player would have let's say these six over here and what they would try to do would be able to play so this would give me two points and this person may want to play this here and he would get one two three and then he would draw up and the next person might want to place this here I'm not playing very well uh, but the colors are the same so that's fine now he couldn't play this here uh, because the two symbols would match so it has to be either all the same color or all the same symbol so he would get another one and this guy for whatever purpose may want to play this here and he would get four points for that now if you ever get six in a row that's called a quirkle which will give you 12 points so the you don't ever leave somebody set up to get more than that 
if they're able to get six in a row of the same thing. Um, so that could go there and say you're just kind of building it across. You know, that would not be able to go there because it wouldn't match. And that's just kind of how you play the game until all the tiles are gone and you add up score. There is no scoring mechanism that comes with a game. You do have to provide that on your own, but that's how you play Squirtle. Who should buy this game? Well, if you like abstract, these little games where you're matching colors, you know, you like set. That's a game that's pretty popular. Oh, you probably like this. Um, Non-gamers will really like this game. This is a great game to give to a non-gamer as a present. Don't go buy them live for Monopoly. Buy them Corkle because it's actually a pretty little, good little mass market game that has won Game of the Year. Uh, but, you know, if you sat down and played it, you wouldn't hate it like you would some other mass market games. With that said, I don't know that it has deep, deep strategy. I don't know that... You know, if you get all the good titles that, that just happen to line up, that you're going to beat me, that I can do much to stop that. But I think it has a place in my collection because I can pull it out when I have lighter gamers here or we just want to kind of chat and talk and not get into something deep or we want something fast. I'll still have a little bit of fun with it. And even though I'm probably not having the most fun at the table, there are other people who are having a great time. And Corkle brings that out. So, look. You may have a position in your in your collection for this, and you may not. But, you know, I would say hesitate and think about this as a gift for somebody next birthday or Christmas or something. This could be a kind of game that they could really like, or you could play at a family function, like a Thanksgiving dinner or after dinner or Christmas or something, where the whole family's getting together for a while. This could be something you could pull out, and I think anybody could play and have a good time. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.